even some of the most simplest inventions, like the light bulb, have changed the world. We've all heard of inventions that came from dreams such as Google, but in this list we'll be showing you five amazing inventions that were completely accidental. Number 5. The Microwave The microwave is pretty much a must-have appliance in every modern kitchen. It allows us to quickly and efficiently heat up food without having to heat up the area around it. This is made possible as the microwave makes the atoms in your food essentially vibrate, causing them to rub against each other which causes friction and thus heating up your food. However, this amazing invention was of course completely accidental. Percy Spencer, an engineer at Raytheon, was known as an electronics genius. In 1945, Spencer was fiddling with a microwave emitting magnetron when he felt a strange sensation in his pants. Spencer paused and found that a chocolate bar in his pocket had started to melt. Figuring that the microwave radiation of the magnetron was to blame, Spencer immediately set out to realise the culinary potential at work. The end result was the microwave oven. Number 4. X-rays If you've ever fractured or broken a bone, you almost certainly have had an X-ray. Technically speaking, X-rays aren't actually an invention, but more of a discovery, since they occur naturally in the world like microwaves or electricity. In 1895, German physicist Wilhelm Röntgen was performing a routine experiment involving cathode rays when he noticed that a piece of fluorescent cardboard was lighting up from across the room. A thick screen had been placed between the cathode emitter and the radiated cardboard, proving that particles of light were passing through solid objects. He was amazed at these rays, so called them X-rays, where the X stood for unknown. He quickly found that brilliant images could be produced with this incredible radiation, so we tested it on his wife's hand and this is the first X-ray image to ever exist. Number 3. Play-Doh Play-Doh is one of the most famous kids' toys of all time. However, its original use was for a much more boring task of cleaning wallpaper. You see, before World War II, coal was commonly used to heat homes, which left soot stains on walls. Noah and Joseph McVicker of Kutol Products, a Cincinnati-based soap manufacturer, created the doughy material to rub the soot off the wallpaper. However, after the war, natural gas became a more common heat source, and as coal was phased out, few people needed Kutol's cleaning products. The company faced bankruptcy, but in the early 1950s, Joseph McVicker learned that his sister, a schoolteacher, used the material in her classroom as a modelling dough, and thus Play-Doh was born. The McVickers decided to market the non-toxic creation as a children's toy. In 1955, they tested their product at nurseries and schools. A year later, they created the company Rainbow Crafts, and before they knew it, they were millionaires. Number 2. Stainless Steel Standard steel is basically iron mixed with a small amount of carbon. Although a useful and strong metal, standard steel does rust and over time eventually will transform into a crumbling powder. However, in 1912, Harry Brearley from Sheffield, England tried to come up with a better gun barrel that wouldn't erode when bullets were shot through it. He tried and tried, but always failed. After several months of trying, Brayley noticed that one of his failures had retained its lustre while the others had rusted. The sample had contained about 12% chromium, which had reacted with the oxygen in the air to form a thin protective film. Brayley called his invention rustless steel. He quickly saw the potential for his new rustless steel, especially for cutlery as at that time rusting cutlery was a big problem. Brayley approached his old schoolmate Ernest Stewart and after testing Brayley's material in a vinegar solution, he dumped it stainless steel and the name stuck ever since. Number 1. Plastic Chances are that right now, you can spot half a dozen plastic items without even having to turn your head. Leo Bacaland, the Belgian-born chemist who in 1907 accidentally developed the first plastic, originally wanted to find a replacement for shellac. Bacaland's Novelac, a combination of formaldehyde and phenol, an acid extracted from coal tar, failed to catch on as a shellac substitute. But he noticed that controlling the temperature and pressure applied to the two compounds and by mixing it with wood flour, asbestos or slate dust, he had created a material that was mouldable yet robust as well as non-conductive and heat resistant. 
he dubbed his invention Bakelite and referred it to as the material of a thousand uses. And boy was he correct as today plastic can be found everywhere and is arguably the most used material in the world. Not only can plastic make anything, it is also extremely cheap to produce allowing consumers to have a lot more for a lot less. Thank you for watching and if you have a video idea why not leave a comment below and if we make it we'll give you a big shout out. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome daily lists of all things 5. This is all 5 and until next time, feed your mind.